Hey, I'm Winnie the f***ing Pooh, and today I'm going to tell you a wonderful story about a group of friends uniting in Anaheim, California for their return to Disneyland after a long closure due to COVID-19. It's an ebook. I don't have a physical hard copy. Sorry about that. The story begins on May 8th, a gloomy Saturday morning. It's a beautiful day outside. My hair is so frizzy. California hates my hair, and my hair hates California. I have my happy kombucha, because today we're going to the happiest place on earth. <laughs> yeah. This kombucha is actually really good. It's from Whole Foods. It has orange, vanilla, and L-theanine. God, my head's so frizzy in California. It just doesn't like it. Disneyland opened April 30th. It is May 8th, and we are going to Disneyland today and the other park tomorrow. Why did I just blank? I forgot what it's called. And California, like the adventure. Oh my God. It's Disneyland California Adventure. Don't We're going with Bridget, who actually just pulled in. Hunter, Dave, Bianca, and Tori. And it's gonna be so much fun. Tyrell, Hunter, and Bridget drove their way to Tori's house, which was quite close to Disney. Beautiful. Where Tori's grandmother Penny would take them to the happiest place on earth because no one wanted to deal with the parking at the actual park. There was traffic right away. I'm just gonna like cut this guy off because I don't really care. They had bananas on the road to nutritionalize their bodies before the long day ahead of them. Bananas have potassium, which is good for you or something. The group of what became four had arrived to the park in a jiffy. Thanks, Penny. A little bit of a line. As they walked to the main entrance, the line seemed to not be completely awful from far. Wow. And in the blink of Mike Wazowski's singular eyeball, the line moved and the bunch made it through the magical gates. We're here! <laughs> As they walked in, they were met with Disney characters like Goofy and Chip and Dale right away. <laughs> they walked their way right to the rides that all seemed to have absolutely no line. Don't feel like this is like real. And they started it with Space Mountain. Space is a walk on. Space is a walk on? Yeah. The only thing that has any kind of weight is Haunted Mansion, but I think that's only because. Oh, uh, love have, like, Haunted Mansion. On their way, they reunited with the Disney Castle. Oh yeah, for real. And we can't forget the lovely pizza planet. The gang was thrilled to go on their first Disneyland ride in years. We're on one, baby. It's our first time on a Disneyland ride in like two years. 17 years. Now I have 5,000 years. 6,000 millenniums. After space, they made their way to Autopia, a ride Tyrell had never been on before, where you basically just drive a car on a track, like go-karts. Uh, Tyrell took over the wheel of the car, and he was struggling. Oh god, I'm not doing very good at driving. The bumpy, slow ride was definitely a journey. So guys, we're on our way to Starbucks right now. Gonna get a large? Not a large, Starbucks doesn't do large. Uh, I'm gonna get a venti, 
mango dragon fruit refresher, but I don't but want any of the extracts. Berries. Yeah. It's literally just white grape juice and lemonade. I got it yesterday. It was clear and it, it tastes tasted delicious. the exact same. I'm, this is wild. I've never been on this ride before, I don't think. Or if I have, it's been like 10 years. I wasn't recording. Wow. Tori and Bridget were much further behind us as Tori, who doesn't have a driver's license, took over the wheel. <laughs> she did great. They continued walking through the park to go on more rides. Matterhorn was sadly closed. As they walked, they found, well, me and my bestie Tigger. Tigger is looking vibrant today. <laughs> they made their way to It's a Small World. Oh my god, here we go. Possibly the scariest ride on Earth. This is mine and Bridget's favorite ride. We love this. You can't just not do this after being closed for a year and a half. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> Filled with terror, it's a small world seems to go on for what seems like eternity. <laughs> Horrific things looking at you from left and right. Basically a cursed trap. They then made their way to Mickey's Toontown, which was soon to be destroyed to their unknown. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Poor Shelby! <laughs> that was so good. That was fun. I've never go on this one. Have you been on this one? No, I have not been on this one. Making their way through Toontown, they found the rulers of the park, Mickey and Minnie Mouse. And another visit from Chippendale, who seemed to be following them at this point. We found them again. They hopped on the go coaster, which was very spacious for Tyrell's long, slender legs. <laughs> A lot of room in here. This is on five feet apart. Still a grand little roller coaster though. Woo! And it's over. Before they departed Toontown, a photo shoot was only necessary. And with a Pluto spotting on the way out, not me thinking that was goofy at first, they met up with Dave and Bianca. <laughs> oh my god. Dave and Bianca are here. They were running a bit late because Dave had class on a Saturday for some reason. What a smart man. <laughs> sure. He's <laughs> so cute, I love him. Now that the whole clan was together, they immediately made a stop at the Jolly Holiday Bakery Cafe for some lunch, where mostly everyone got a sexy grilled cheese and tomato soup. Mm. Sexy. Mm -hmm. Mouth-watering, isn't it? And don't forget some raspberry Mickey Mouse macaroons for dessert. Let me, let me, let me open it not shitty. Me opening anything? Now you can do it. 
roast. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. After their delicious treats, they went straight to Indiana Jones to sit and wait in line. literally sit in line. Though after sitting for 10 minutes, the ride had a malfunction and became closed. They sadly exited the line and headed towards Thunder Mountain. A great ride to say the least. Everyone was having a great time on the ride. <laughs> As the wind blew through their hair, they felt the great joys and bumps of what Thunder Mountain had to offer. They then made their way to Star Wars Land because they had woken up early enough to snag some Rise of the Resistance boarding group passes, which is a hard task to do. Although they got the time boarding group passes that you need to ride, the line was still quite long and it was beginning to get hot out. It smells like, it smells like rain. getting hot outside. Wow. Luckily there were giant fans out and about to slightly keep them cool. They waited for what seemed like years in this heat. Good night. I'll take a nap. Come on. <laughs> it's taking really long. Yeah, we just like we're moving so fast and then we stopped and we're in the sun and And we had to Star Wars is the only ride that we've had to have a, have a boarding group for. It and it's still be, the longest line. It was supposed to be cold today because it said 70 and cloudy, which I know it's most not of you are like and cloudy. No, but in California 70 and cloudy is like usually kind of chilly. It's like sweater today, weather. Today is like it's hot. It's only 73, but it feels like it's 95 degrees. I'm dying. We have this fan though. And they made us throw my my, my diet coat. <laughs> Do I have my water bottle in Tori's backpack? It's just like no reaction. He's like, yeah. They goofed around in line until it was finally their turn to go. The ride felt like an intense journey from start to finish, with details out of this world. They literally left Earth and went to a different world. I hate when that happens. We just got transported. <laughs> became one of their favorites. <laughs> that was so cool. The wait was worth it. That's like the best ride I've ever been on. Oh, for sure. I felt like we were on a ride since we walked into the Oh, place. yeah. To chill things out a bit, they went right to the Winnie the Pooh. To chill things out a bit? I would say my ride is pretty exhilarating. This is what the story says, so I'll go along with it, whatever. To chill things out a bit, they went straight to the Winnie the Pooh ride. My personal favorite ride. Oh look, there I am riding a balloon. <laughs> Happy birthday! Hip hip hooray! After they left, the best ride of all time, they made their way to a favorite ride of many, the Haunted Mansion. Due to outdoor cues, they were taken to a secret basement entrance that they had never seen before. Truly a whole new experience.
Everyone was ecstatic to be back at the Haunted Mansion. It really doesn't get better. Yeah, well, I'm not doing free free. time for something the gang truly had looked forward to since the park's return. A Disneyland churro. Coated with sweet sugary goodness, the $5 stick is totally worth it. <laughs> Everyone enjoyed their churros on the benches as they took a little break from standing and walking. Close by was another treasure that they had all missed, the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. The ride itself may not be what they were antsy for, but what they were antsy for was the smell. The smell of the ride filled with nostalgia, hopes, and dreams. Nothing beats the Pirates of the Caribbean ride scent. As they made their circle around the park, they reunited with the Indiana Jones ride, which was now working again. They waited in line yet again, but this time, made it all the way through. It was now time to eat again as the hours had passed by. They got some great filling snacks like chicken kebabs and some juicy spicy pickles. Mmm, big wet spicy pickles sounds great right about now. Everything tasted great. Back in Star Wars land, they arrived at the Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run where every individual had a job to keep their ship safe in a very intense space battle. <laughs> At this point of the day, Tyrell discovered that his vanilla chapstick was melted and destroyed from the heat. A very sad day for him. Dave, on the other hand, was getting verbally attacked by a stormtrooper. Free to turn over your silk, freighters. Poor Dave. Their last obstacle in Star Wars land was to grab some $10 blue milk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the blue milk tasted fantastic, though. $10 fantastic? Who really knows? But as Disney, society will pay whatever they ask us to. As the day was hitting a close, they stopped by the Snow White ride to give a wave to the seven dwarfs and a girl who was dumb enough to eat a poisoned apple. Apples are not that good to be worth dying over. There it is. <laughs> Why? Your hat's glowing. They were met with a pretty carousel right outside of the ride. And of course they had to stop to take some pictures. And don't forget a photo shoot in front of the castle before you go. They ended the night with Boba, Dino Nuggets, and Gossip Girl. As any group normally would. They spread out in Hunter's studio apartment to finally get some rest after their first day back. But don't fret, they still have one more day to enjoy at the parks. Fuck Vanessa. Also, fuck Dan Humphrey. Everyone arose in the morning after their thrilling sleepover to get ready for their day at Disney California Adventure. With some warm cinnamon rolls to fuel their bodies for the day, they were ready to go. And don't forget the essential sugar-free coconut Red Bulls for Tyrell and David. Tyrell struggles to open anything that exists, including his emotions. Dave. Yes. <laughs> Hunter had Tyrell do his hair to give it that magical touch Tyrell has. Hello. As Tori waited for everyone in Anaheim, they fooled around in the apartment listening to country music and such. Alright, alright! We're gonna party today, I'm sorry. We're gonna this party.
Wait till the chorus? It's a beautiful day, not a cloud in sight, so I guess I'm doing alright. Ah, oops. Yeehaw. Mm -hmm. Gay kombucha. Gay kombucha. With another cloudy day ahead. It's cloudy today. They finally made their way to the parks. And with Tyrell on the ox, you know your morning is about to be brightened up. Big time rush never fails. They made their way to the parking lot and got directed to a parking spot. Bianca and David warned everyone else about what was about to be the longest walk of all time from the parking lot to the entrance gates. There was no penny to drop them off like the day prior. Oh no, this mother's bad. <laughs> the morning wouldn't start off normal if it didn't start with Hunter making a pit stop to the bathroom. What? That's like right now. After Hunter urinated, they made their long walk to the park entrance. That's the park minister, you are packing. Their first stop was the Disney merchandise store, right to the left of the entrance. Who doesn't love some good and fresh Disney merch? And with Hunter's annual pass discount, that made it even better. After Bianca's fun purple outfit change, they all made their way straight to the Guardian's ride. Next to it was Avengers Campus, which was yet to be opened. With all of the lines being quite short, they got onto Guardians in a jiffy. Classic ups and downs making your stomach churn to almost barfing point. It really doesn't get better than that. <laughs> Bianca kidnapped Gru on the ride and they made their way to Cars Land to grab some food. And what place better for food than the Cozy Cone Motel? Very cozy indeed. They waited for their mobile order cozy cones and found a table to eat. At. They found a table to eat at. They did not eat the table. Wait for her. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Yeah. Everyone got a classic bacon mac and cheese bread cone and it was fing delicious. Woo! <laughs> Cheers. They made their way to Pixar Pier, but first, another bathroom break. Near the bathrooms was the hot and sexy Nick Wilde, who seemed to be having some sexual tension with Tyrell. They hopped right onto the Little Mermaid, which was always a great time. Pixar Pier. First stop, the Incredicoaster. Sadly, Jack Jack Num Num's cookie shop was closed, which was a huge bummer and made everyone really pissed off and sad. But the Incredicoaster was quite literally a walk on, so they let the cookie situation slide. Literally a walk on. No line at all. With Hunter and Tyrell in the front row, they were ready to feel the wind as they took off on the fastest ride of the park. Oh my god. Yeah, mom. 
the one time I was ready for a picture with a peace sign, it didn't take, so. They hit right by ride, with Toy Story Mania being next up in line. Time to put those 3D glasses on and shoot some shit. received an awful score, the worst out of the group, but at least he got a higher accuracy. They recycled their glasses and made their way to a ride that no one really wanted to go on. I got the worst score out of everyone. Except for Tyrell and Dave. Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy oh shit! <laughs> Hi, how are you? They boarded what is said to be the scariest ride at the parks. The ride began to move, and the chaos began. Me or Dave have never been on this ride before, never. so everyone's forcing themselves to go on it just for us. <laughs> and we got the fucking sadness one. We're on this sadness. We're on the swinging one too. Oh yeah. I'm, gonna go, I'm literally gonna kill myself. I'm gonna be very upset in like five seconds. Wait, you feel like you're gonna have to swing. I love this. This is an it though. When we go over the top. I'm vibing right now. This is fun. I don't think I'm like that. No! Oh, there's bridge! You can see her! Oh, yeah. I hate that. See, I love it. It's like a swing. They couldn't stop laughing at the fact that three out of the five guests on the ride were in fact miserable the whole time as the ferris wheel swung back and forth. So relaxing. It probably will get worse. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh no, no. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. As they hit the top, you can see the entire park. A beautiful view to say the least. The CBC is closed. Yep. Oh, here we go. Oh, are we? Oh, I hate it. We didn't know what time I do. Oh no, I, I did see it. I was trying to do it. I did see it. Yeah, it feels so natural. Yeah, that's it. That's like that. Oh wow. They got off the ride from hell and decided to all get some ice cream to fill there. Lemon? Oh, I might get that. You want that one? One of my favorite ones. The other one's just lemon. Yeah, I like this one. This one? Uh -huh. I like one as well. And nothing could be better than the adorable snowman frosted tree. The lemon swirl with blue raspberry icy in the middle, it is truly the best. But beware, it does in fact melt in five seconds. And it will get messy. But with the pretty park view, it made the sticky mess feel slightly more okay. They left Pixar Pier and headed back towards the forest. And you guessed it, another bathroom break. Across from the restrooms was the chillest ride of them all, Soren. They made their way in line and sat in the shade where they didn't feel as if they were about to melt into the ground. The line thankfully moved pretty quickly and they enjoyed all the views and smells of the world. Thank God LA isn't in the ride, or else the auditorium would reek of piss and marijuana. I'm tired. We've only been here for four hours. <laughs> it feels like we've been here for seven we've hours. We've done, this is the last thing, and then we're basically done with everything. And then Radiator Spring. I guess we are now on. conducting our oh, final bye. system. It was now time to make their way back to Cars Land, hit their last mark of the day, Radiator Spring.
We're on a family trip to Moab. As you can see, the rocks are really beautiful. With all the great designs and lots of shade, waiting in line for this ride wasn't too horrible. And after only 25 minutes of line waiting, they made it to the ride and raced their hearts out in Ray Air Springs, enjoying the Red Rock views along the way. Did he say cacao? Six of us eyes are just closed. I'm ready. <laughs> Everyone made their way back towards the exit with a few more pit stops along the way. Like one more turn at the Guardians ride. Because why not? Considering it was a direct walk-off. And for the first time in the last two days, every single person was ready for the picture. All of these. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The most important stop along the way out was something that Bianca and Tyrell were craving all day. A juicy corn dog. Corn dog time. We've been waiting all day for this. We have ordered six, five, three, four. We finally got our corn dog. Oh my god. They enjoyed their corn dogs around the table, probably being the best part of their day. And before they left that table, Dave had one more important mission. Oh, you're so close. This isn't who I am. Look at all the liquid on the table, dude. It's it's rigged. Oh, it's so close. Oh. They don't want to see me win. It's because I need to throw it here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they made one last stop at a fun little sweet shop to get some desserts to go. Let's leave. Yeah. As they exited the parks, the Disney trip was officially over. Goodbye Disneyland. Both. It's a nice time. Cali Disney California Adventure. DCA. It's a nice time. Such a nice time. How was your time, Tori? It was really nice. Good. It was really good. Nice to be home. Yeah, our feet all hurt really badly. <laughs> the group took some final photos at the entrance gates. To end the night, they took the 52 mile walk back to the parking garage. And just like that, after almost two years of waiting, the gang's trip to Disney reached an end. <laughs> But the story doesn't end here. A little over a month later, a Bender's campus opened, and Tyrell, Hunter, and all the way from the humidity hell pits of Florida, Eva, returned back to DCA for the grand opening day of Avengers Campus. With an insane amount of luck, they somehow managed to grasp boarding group tickets for the new Spider-Man ride, which meant that they had to wait in no lines to get into the campus. The new world inside of the park was great, and the trio walked straight to the Web Slingers ride, where they waited for quite a while outside. But considering it was opening day, they didn't care. Hi. They finally got in and received a warm welcome from Tom Holland. Hey, what's up? I'm Peter Parker. If you want to stay wet, all you gotta do is sling your arm in the direction you want to shoot the web, and that's it. It's awesome. Peter, your spider bots are continuing to replicate and are consuming everything oh. in their path. Oh. They seem to be stuck in self replication mode. If you could just handle that for me, please. On it. Contacting Mr. Stark. Don't call Mr. Stark! They put their 3D glasses on and prepared themselves to sling at some spiders and save Spider-Man's stupid ass.
Everyone's arms were very sore by the end, but the Webslingers' ride turned out great. They ran into some warriors from Wakanda and hung around Avengers Campus for a while. This is not every battle. This is for training purposes only, so I want us all to stand tall. We jib, break, crouch, drop. I see you doing it. Since all the hype was about Spider-Man that day, as it should be, absolutely no one was in line for Guardians. They walked directly onto the ride, and it was great. For the rest of the day, the trio explored DCA, saw Chip and Dell exploring in the wilderness, hit up all of the beloved rides, and don't forget the lemon ice cream from the adorable snowman. Yum. Ending it with the Monsters Inc. ride that Tyrell had never been on before. Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. It's lemon. It was now time they said their goodbyes. And everyone lived happily ever after. The end. Stop. Stop. Thank you very much. Let's wrap. <laughs>